welcome back to the fifth lecture of C++ programming tutorial series. We are sorry, we are come too late with new video tutorial. Maybe I have a robotic voice but I am a human inside. Anyways that is our excuse, so now we can get back into C++. In the previous videos we have discussed the introduction of C++ and also the variables used in programming. Today in this video we will briefly discuss about the various data types in C++ programming, and demonstrate the data types using ensemble programs. Keep watch this video till the end. A variable must have a data type associated with it, for example it can have data types like integer, decimal numbers, characters etc. The variable of type integer stores integer values and a character type variable stores character value. The primary difference between various data types is, their size and memory. Different data types have different size and memory depending on the machine and compilers. These also affect the way they are displayed. The C out knows how to display a digit and a character. There are few data types in C language. These data types are reserved words of C language. The reserved words cannot be used as a variable name. Let's take a look into different data types that the C language provides us to deal with whole numbers, real numbers and character data. The C language provides three data types to handle whole numbers. End Short And Long The data type, int, is used to store whole numbers, integers. The integer type has a space of 4 bytes in memory. And it is mentioned as, int, which is a reserved word of C. So we cannot use it as a variable name. In programming, before using any variable name, we have to declare that variable, with its data type. For example, if we are using an integer variable, named as x, we have to declare it as, int, x. This line is known as declaration statement. When we declare a variable in this way, it reserves some space in memory, depending on the size of data type, and labels it with the variable name. The declaration statement int, x, reserves 4 bytes of memory and labels it as x. This happens at the execution time. Let's consider a simple example to explain, int, data type. In this example, we take two integers, add them, and display the answer on the screen. The code of the program is written as. In this program, the first three lines, declare three variables, a, B and C. These three declarations can also be written on one line. C provides us the comma separator. These three lines can be written in a single line as int a comma b comma c semicolon. As we know that semicolon indicates the end of the statement, so we can write many statements on a single line. In this way, we can also write these declarations in this form. int a semicolon int b semicolon int c semicolon. For good programming practice, write a single statement on a single line. Now we assign values to variables a and b by using assignment operator. The lines a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 10, assign the values 5 and 10 to the variables, a, and b, respectively. These statements put the values, 5 and 10 to the memory locations labeled as, a, and b. The next statement, c is equal to, a, plus b, evaluates the expression on right hand side. It takes values stored in variables, a, and b, which are 5 and 10 respectively as them, and by using the assignment operator, puts the value of the result, which is, 15 in this example, 
to the memory location labeled as C. Here a thing to be noted is that, the values of A and B remains the same after this operation. In arithmetic operations, the values of variables, used in expression on the right hand side, are not affected. They remain the same. But a statement like, A is equal to A plus 1 is an exceptional case. In this case the value of A is changed. The next line, C out, less than less than quotation mark, A equal to sign, quotation mark, is simple it just displays, A equal to sign, on the screen. Now we want to display the value of A after A equal to sign. For this, we write the statement C out less than less than A. Here comes the effect of data type on C out. The previous statement C out less than less than quotation mark A equal to sign quotation mark has a character string after less than less than sign and C out simply displays the string. In the statement C out less than less than a there is a variable name a now c out will not display a but the value of a the c out interprets that a is a variable of integer type it goes to the location a in the memory and takes its value and displays it in integer form on the screen the next line c out less than less than quotation mark b equal to sign, quotation mark, displays, b, equal to sign, on the screen. And line c out, less than, less than, b, displays the value of, b, on the screen. Thus we see that when we write something in quotation marks it is displayed as it is, but when we use a variable name, it displays the value of the variable, not name of the variable. The next two lines c out, less than, less than, quotation mark, C, equal to sign, A, plus B, equal to sign, quotation mark, and C out, less than, less than, C, are written to display, C, equal to sign, A, plus B, equal to sign, and the value of, C, that is 15. Now when we execute the program after compiling, we get this output. We have discussed earlier that the end data type occupies 4 bytes in memory. So if we have to store a small integer, like 2, 15 or 20, 4 bytes would be used. The C or C++ language provides another data type for storing small whole numbers, which is called short. The size of short is 2 bytes. We can write the previous sample program by using short instead of end on the other hand if we have a very large whole number that cannot be stored in an end then we use the data type long provided by C or C++ language so when we are going to deal with very big whole numbers in our program we use long data type we use it in program as As previously we have discussed the data types of whole numbers comprehensively. Now we are going to discuss the data types of real numbers. The real numbers are numbers with decimal points for example 2.55, 526.768. The real numbers are also known as floating point numbers. The C or C++ language provides two data types to deal with real numbers, float, and double. To store real numbers, float data type is used. The float data type uses 4 bytes to store a real number. Here is program that uses float data types. Double is another data type of real numbers. If we need to store a large real number which cannot be stored in 4 bytes, then we use 
double data type. Normally the size of double is twice the size of float. In program we use it as So far we have been looking on data types to store numbers. In programming we do need to store characters like A, B, C, etc. For storing the character data C or C++ language provides char data type. By using char data type we can store characters in variables. While assigning a character value to A, char Type variable single quotes are used around the character as Thanks for watching. Thumb up if you like it, and subscribe if you want more tutorials.